Hello everyone, today I'll show you how to insert form value into database. First of all, we will create a HTML form structure. So here I'm writing doctype HTML, which tells browser the HTML version. Now we will write HTML tag and its closing tag. So inside this HTML form, we will write our head tag and its closing tag. And after this head tag, we will create our body tag and its closing tag. So this is basic HTML form structure. Now we will save this file inside our htdocs folder. We have created a folder form. So we will save this file with index.php. Click on save. Inside this head tag, we will write our form title. So form title will be insert form value into database. Inside a body tag, we will create our form tag through which user input their data. So we will use two attributes for this form tag. First will be action and second will be method. To know about these attributes, Look here, action specifies where the form data is to be sent after submission and method specifies how to send form data. So there are two methods, get method and post method. Now we will create our input box. So we will write input tag. Type will be text. And name will be name. Your name attribute identifies the value of input box into database. So we will create a label for this input box. So first label will be name. Now we will write br tag to separate the lines. Like this way we will create some more input boxes. Second label will be email, type will be email and name will be email also. Next will be age, type will be text and name will be age. Last one we will create with name of address, type will be text and name we will write address. At last we will create our button through which we submit our form into database. So button value will be submit, button type is submit and name will also be submit. Now we will save this file with control plus s and we will check this form into our browser. So we will write localhost slash form. Here you can see our form. Now I'll show you how to create database. So first of all, we will open localhost slash phpMyAdmin. Click on enter. Here you can see phpMyAdmin. So firstly select a database, create a new database. Here I'm writing insert and click on create. Now we will create a table. So write the table name form and number of columns will be 5. Click on go. Here we will give the name and data type. So first will be id, data type integer and click on auto increment. Second will be name, data type will be variable character with the length of 20. Next is email, data type will be variable character with the length of 20. Next is age, data type will be integer with the length of 11 and the last we will write address data type is variable character and length is 50.
click on save now you can see the table we have created all these namings are coming from the form which we have created you can see here now we will write a code to save the value into database so here I'm going to create another file and I'll save it inside the htdocs folder and the name I'll give it insert.php click on save now in our form action we will write this file name method here we will use post because you can see post is secure method now we will write our code so first of all we will create our parameters to make connection with database server will be localhost username is root which is phpMyAdmin localhost username so password will be empty and the last is our database name so we will write database name insert you can see we have created our database with insert name here now we will write a connection so here MySQLi underscore connect and inside this we will write our parameters so first will be server second will be username third will be password and the last parameter is database name now we will check a condition if form is clicked on submit or not so we will write if is set dollar underscore post submit because we save form with the post method so here we will fetch the values through dollar underscore post method so now we will check if all input boxes are empty or not so firstly we will check our first box value so first value is name now we will apply the same condition for all other input boxes so next box is email third is age and the last will be address so after checking this condition if it works we we'll proceed further else we will print a message all fields required now inside this condition we will fetch all the values from the form so here I'm going to fetch the value of name and I'm storing this value inside the dollar name variable second is email dollar underscore post email next value will be each and the last value will be address so I'm going to store this value inside the dollar address variable
now we will write a query insert into form which is our table name so i'll create the table columns name name email age and address now inside this we will put values these values are the values which we fetch through the form so here i'll write dollar name next will be dollar email last value will be dollar h and the last will be dollar address like this way we will save the values into database through our form now we will run our query so here i'm going to write mysqli underscore query there are two parameters for this first will be connection and next will be query or we will write die mysqli underscore error so in case if query won't run it will throw an error now we will check this condition that if this query will run we will print a message form submitted successfully otherwise we will print the message form not submitted now we will save this file with control plus s now we will put values in our form name email each and now address now we will submit this form here you can see form submitted successfully now we will check values in database so here you can see name email age and address thanks for watching please like share and subscribe our channel